something that we are very proud of, our, our heritage, our desire to drive change, progress, all these things that we talk about. And, and what you will experience today is yet another uh, another logical step in that journey. Now, we've spoken about the fact that, that as India grows in its Amritkar, and as India will grow into a large economy, a very large economy, uh, logistics, both the movement of people and goods will, 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 will grow and, and has to become better, has to become more sophisticated, sustainable. All of the words that we kind of want to use will come into play. So, so I think all of these things will come to play. And, uh, and I think that, uh, that uh, as Volvo, as Volvo trucks, uh, we, we, we will play our part in it. It's about uh, Volvo getting into a different alternative fuel in India. Volvo has been working and uh, Volvo trucks have been quite successful in EV business and other alternative fuel business. As you all know, we are working on various uh, alternative fuel uh, requirements across the globe. So, we started this quite one year back. Some of you have already come and then taken some, uh, some idea about uh, our gas powered LNG truck. Okay, so working, uh, we launched the commercial trials last year. It's been working for the last one year. So, more they give introduction and more data about this, uh, about this particular transport solution uh, going forward. But one thing I would like to tell you is uh, it's pretty exciting for me on this. So, why? You can ask me. Why am I so excited about uh, LNG power other than you know any other thing? So that we <coughs> unfold well by what we are going to discuss about that. The truck which you are seeing now comes uh, comes with all safety features which we are doing in the truck worldwide. And the truck which you see outside is completely built unit which we have. Okay, so and the customer uh, is the customer whom you already. In you know, interviewed earlier, and you have seen this, that customer that is delivery is already going to be with you in the discussion. So, though the uh, me and Bhagwan, we had one discussion about how do we make this, you know, actually uh, show you or showcase you how this business is going to be developed in India. It is because one as a OEM or as a supplier or giving the transport solution, I will be very much excited. The same excitement should also be there, uh, should be based on certain, you know, facts and some kind of an understanding from our side. So that's the reason to understand how this business is developed worldwide, particularly in Sweden and Nordic countries. Okay, so how this is developed. So one person will also be interacting with you. <coughs> and the India and Indonesia business, uh, you know, my counterpart there in you know, Sweden, like uh, you all must be knowing, Eunice Nielsen, he got transferred and uh, in his place, uh, Anna Inquist has come to the picture. So she will be online as well. So she can give you a little perspective of what does she think about media business. And uh, more, I would rather take uh, one more happy or, uh, you know, satisfying, uh, you know, interaction will be with Arun Bhagavad. Who's going to be the delivery, you know, head for logistics and things like that? So he's also going to be on call, but he is operating out of Singapore. He must be going, so he will be attending from Singapore. So that's uh, he will be there. So it's like a complete. See what we would like to do it in India. How do we believe that in India? And how customer looks at it? How did we do it in Sweden? And how the Sweden perspective of India? So this is a complete story. I think. Uh, so it should, that's the reason I'm saying it's pretty exciting to me to present it to you about this. And we called only a few of you here. We have not called this as a, uh, as a press meet. So it's a preview to you and it's also an understanding about this. So that the story can be developed and you can present it to the, you know, the, across the world. And we have, uh, I mean, we, but one has suggested to all, all of you to come here. And uh, we didn't make it as a big you know, press meet and things like that. And uh, there will be there will be a handing over ceremony to the customer because the first trucks already given to this customer. 
capillarity, now reaching the sides actually, or to the ups where it, they will start with oil, it's already taken some loads, already from track loads have already taken. So those things are already going to be there. So that will happen and you would like to hand it over to them as ceremony will be or an event will be conducted and that point of time we will release one press you know, release and you can clap it along with your story and then it will come into place. That's, that's how we look at it. So, till now any questions on this? So that The same, yeah, with respect to customers on logistics, uh, the mineral logistics as well as uh, e-com and then uh, express logistics we have given quite a few and the vehicle has already crossed 100,000 kilometers. The ro routes which they have already envisaged or they have taken is depending on the availability of the There are more than 9. Uh, infrastructure wise there are more than 15 already done. Okay, so some more are expected now. Only thing is chicken and egg story. <laughs> the gas comes first <laughs> or the truck comes first. So we are as a you know as a company you all know that we drive the progress. So we have taken the first fight saying that okay we will bring the trucks. So we brought 30 trucks already into India. Yes. And we are now going uh, ahead with the customers and also the fuel suppliers to have a kind of an understanding so that obviously if I give a vehicle and if that does not have the fuel then it's of no use to the customer. So we are ensuring even that. So all the data will be given by my colleague Mr. Sharath and uh, he is the head of marketing for us so he's going to give a presentation as well as well on our, uh, on our you know, the company as well as our plans for here, and we are here to answer you whatever is required. Practically, it should not take more than uh, what it takes a diesel truck. Okay. Okay. But it depends on the experience which you have. In in Europe, I I was there when it was getting filled. I hardly see for two three minutes. They just come fill it up for them. As fast as that. As fast as that is. Sometimes it might take about half an hour, that's a different thing. Okay. <laughs> if it is a pure energy, then it is uh, not 100% uh, CO2 neutral actually. That's because it is taken from the, the well to tank if you really look at it. Okay, it's the right cycle. So that's the reason we call this as a gas power. I don't want to call it because our one of the core values is environmental care. So we use the LNG, then uh, you know, though the CO2 reduction is about 20%, fuel efficiency is another 25% or 30%. So all of that reduces the you know the emissions as a as a whole. But if you take from belt to tank, that is uh, from bio LNG, it's 100%. So we want to call this as a gas powered rather than calling it as an LNG profit. But it should be used on every cycle. Okay, on every cycle? Yes. Every emission, these are Right, okay. okay. So what quantity is the quantity are required? 5%. It's just 5%. the 5%. 95% is only the LNG. The LNG. The complete LNG. truck runs only on LNG. It doesn't run on diesel. Okay. Diesel is used only for the ignition. One seventy liters, as against a two twenty five kg tank. Well, how we have designed it? Ten times we fill LNG, once we fill diesel. Thank you. Particularly in India right now, the bio LNG is still to catch up. Actually, we are only having the LNG. So, uh, bio LNG can be municipal waste. You can make the bio LNG. There is a bio LNG plants which can be implemented everywhere. So we can actually attend both the uh, you know requirements of uh, clearing the entire the municipal waste and then also uh, maybe bagas, maybe any other you know paddy or other things. So from there also you can produce the energy. We don't want to introduce the truck just because we have a 
we have all trucks available. Yes, even you mentioned about that. You know, all technologies are available worldwide. That's, I can introduce any truck tomorrow in India. But before I introduce, I should see what customer gets the best of it. So that's the reason we believe in like what I explained to you. One year or one and a half years back, we started this. We first did the trials, then we got all the stakeholders onto this on one platform, trying to see how we can help the entire community to develop the entire system. Then only we would like to do this. That's the reason we have just now introduced 20 trucks. I am not really worried who gets the first mover advantage, but I am worried about who gets the best out of the truck. So that's the reason I am introducing this truck right now after one and a half years of service or, or trials and developing the system. Today, when I give a truck to my customer, I will say that if it is not suitable in this route, don't buy my truck. It needs to be a first time right solution. First time right solution. All technologies are going to stay there. It's not that. It depends on the application. Mostly distribution and the city requirement will be done by battery. Okay. Or also fuel cell. But the long haul journey is going to be an ice engine, but it's going to be biodiesels and a bio energy. So for us in India, we are only into long haul. We are not into distribution. Correct. Correct. So we are. But if there is a long haul, higher productivity requirement like between Chennai and Bangalore, 300 kilometers, up and down you do 2-3 uh, routes, 2-3 uh, times, and then in a, in a month what you said about 25,000 kilometers, which truck can sustain that kind of productivity, that kind of usage mm -hmm. is Volvo. So that's the reason there, even if it is not distribution or if it is a lesser you know, range, we introduce EV there. Customer had taken EV between Chennai and Bangalore. Two trucks are working already. Okay. See, uh, whatever we have interacted with the authorities, either it is Niti Aayog or it is the you know the petroleum yes. industry or the ministry, they are very highly focused on this uh, LNG also because this is number one fossil fuel. If it can be used, and lesser possible, okay. If you take the same, dependence on the petroleum products comes come down if you use this number. Number three, they have given enough focus to through IOCL through other you know the company, distribution companies to set up these things. So they have actually given a map where entire India can be covered, and they have also asked from industry what are the requirements. We need to tell them to develop this, which we have also shared. Niti Aayog themselves have given some of the quotes given by Niti Aayog can be shared by us saying that this is how this LNG should be developed. And I see between one and a half years back only one bio, the Vaidhanath LNG is working. Today 12 are working. That, that shows that. It. And it is for my truck, let me tell you. I would like to keep this point very, very clear to all of you is that this is not required to be as thickly, densely populated like this. Okay. We are so working this okay. LNG on a longer route. I mean, the range is also better. This range is better. Yeah. So I don't need every street. I need to have one LNG. I don't Absolutely. need that. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't need that requirement. So then don't compare the diesel petrol pumps available across the country, and there are hundreds of them are available. There are only sixty are there. Sixty may be enough. Mm. I just take the priority to the yeah. my own yeah. truck action. Any truck manufacturer in India generally talks about the network thickly developed. Correct. I don't talk about it because my <laughs> truck does not need so much of intervention. <laughs>